What is up LEGO lovers? Kilberg here with another fun and exciting update to my castle series in which we are making a Black Falcon's Fortress. We are already on episode 7 this week so it's starting to be the longest building series on my channel and we still have some work left to do. But let's not get ahead of ourselves because for this update I was able to make a lot of sweet progress on the build already so I think you'll really enjoy what I have in stores for you. But as usual, before we start this video, be sure to smack that like button and consider subscribing to help this channel grow. We just hit the great milestone of 5000 subscribers for which I want to thank all of you who contributed to this achievement but don't think for a second I will stop here because my next goal is hitting 10k this here. So if you enjoy watching my mocks being made, tickle that algorithm a bit and share my videos with all your LEGO loving friends because there are still a lot of great builds in plans for the future. But now, with all that being said, it's time to jump into today's progress, so let's get this episode started right now. And the first thing I started making after finishing the last episode was a set of stairs leading up to the top of the defense walls and I came up with something like this. There is actually not much new stuff here because if you've been watching my previous builds you know that I'm really fond of this technique but this time I've changed the concept a bit and embedded the boards into the wall. I think it looks very good this way, especially using this color combination using medium nougat printed tiles and a reddish brown edge, so let's continue with this pattern all the way to the top and make some walls while we're at it. Ok, so we have the stairs leading all the way to the top and most of the wall on the right side of the gatehouse completed and I really like how it's going. The stairs are ending perfectly with the gatehouse that will be partly open so that the soldiers will have easy access to the gate mechanism, so it's everything I could ask for here. There will of course be some kind of supports underneath the stairs, but I will worry about that later because now I just want to continue with the inner walls and attaching the next torch for which I already prepared the LED lights. So yeah, this is coming along nicely with the torch attached and the walls move up to the half of the desired height. I made the edge of the wall with a snot technique because here it will meet with a tower at an angle so I will probably be using some cheese slopes but for that I will actually need to start the tower so we'll get back here later on. Now let's move on with the walls and build them up to the desired height. Ok, now that's impressive. The wall is as tall as it should be and it's looking very good on its own, so let's move on to the left side and finish that part of the inner wall as well. So with all the defense walls done, the courtyard is starting to look very good, although the walls are looking a bit empty, so I started thinking should I make some kind of a banner here or something to fill it in? Unfortunately there is no official big flags or banners for falcons so I would either have to make custom ones or build them out of bricks but I don't know if that clean wall bothers me that much. What do you think? Should I leave it like this or add something here? Ok, it just hit me that some kind of a plant would be a nice addition to have some variety here and it hit me so hard that I forgot to make some nice looking footage of it but I came up with this olive green vine that will be growing out of some kind of a stone made pot. But that is just a placeholder for now. Let's first start making the tower and we'll see how the angle between it and the wall will look like and how will the vine fit then. So first up the door. I decided to make it with some different shades of brown plates, tiles and ingots placed sideways and even some stud shooter triggers placed between those and I couldn't ask for more. The door is not really attached with any stud but just held by the frame and a simple support from the back but it doesn't have to be open so it should be enough for stability and most importantly it looks great so let's move on. But before I build something else I need to replenish my part collection because I'm running low on grace so let me just make a quick run to Brickling to get what I need and I'll be back in a bit. Ok, so what do we have here? First of all, a big bag of 1x2 modified bricks with clips, which I will use instead of regular ones, since we won't see the inside of the tower and they were less than 2 cents a piece, so why not. Next we have some 1x2 plates that I can never have enough, some jumpers, 
one by three and one by one plates, a couple of corner plates, a bunch of one by one bricks, both regular as well as Technic ones as a cheaper alternative, an Ninjago figure that I was hunting for for quite some time because of the parts she comes with, and a small bag of some random grey pieces like panels and headlights, as well as another adventurous team printed panel for some mock in the future, and this rare Technic brick in earth orange color to fill the hole in my kadzu animal I had for ages. So no surprise here, mostly a bag of light grey pieces, but much needed ones and probably not the last ones I will have to order, but for now I'm good so we can move on with the tower. But first I want to show you a prototype of a banner I made using tiles and a falcon shield. I think this could be a good alternative for hanging on the walls to add some colors to the build, but I'm still not sure about its placement. If I hang a couple of those on the walls, it might be too much for such a small space we have here, so how about I just put one or two on the sides of the tower? Let me know in the comment section what do you think. Anyway, back to the tower itself. I raised the walls of the tower to the level of the defense walls, and for now it's enough, because as I said a couple times before, I want the top of the tower to be a removable section so that the build is easier to move to a convention. This part of the tower will be of course covered with some tiles and made with supports on the inside for stability, but for now I just care about the looks. So we have some cross shaped air vents all around the tower with a small parapet over the front and above that I wanted some kind of a window. I'm still not quite sure of the look, so it might look different when you see it next time, but I like the overall placement and the fact that it's deeper than the outer wall. Also the vine fits here now perfectly, with the thinner parts of the leaves being stuffed in the corner and the bigger ones nicely filling the free space. And I even made a small pot filled with brown studs, so the plant has some normal growing condition in this harsh rocky environment. Moving back to the right side, like I said previously, I filled the snot hole with some cheese slopes, which are fitting here almost perfectly, and with that we have almost all of the bottom floor finished. So to make a nice finishing touch for this update, I covered the walls all around the build with grey plates to get it ready for the wall walk that I will make in the next episode, which I will probably make in the same technique as the courtyard floor. And last but definitely not least, I added something cool to make the tower stand out even more. Wait for it and bang, we got more lights. And these ones are actually the simplest ones I could make. I just took a LED panel and stuffed it behind a trans orange brick and that way we have a nice cozy warm light shining through the window and the cross shaped holes in the wall. Now all I have to do is finish the tower making it around 3 times the height of what it is now, make the bridge in front of the gate, sprinkle the mock with ton of details and we are done with this series. I don't know if I'll be able to make everything for the next episode or will we have another work in progress one and then the finale, so you'll have to stay tuned to the channel to be sure you won't miss any of it. For now, I think we are all done here, so make sure you let me know what you think about the progress in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next video. And until then, as always, make sure you keep it breaking.